Welcome back. Here we got this snowy owl all dried out, which it took like probably a couple of hours to fully dry it. And all we have to do right now before we start the real posing is just making sure that all the top feathers that have been pushed underneath because of the uh, power of the blow dryer, we just have to make sure that all the feathers are lined up exactly where they belong to. They're all shingled and um, none of the top feathers are caught up underneath uh, the, the bottom feathers. So what I'm going to do, I decided to basically explain a little bit here and by the time that the posing starts, after I plant the animal, plant the owl on its perch, uh, once that um, segment starts, I'm going to not talk and let you watch uh, the posing process in a little bit of a higher speed because I think it makes it more fun when you see how, when I speed up the video and you see how the owl is getting the position that we want him to, um, like in a little bit of a faster mode, it'll make it all more interesting because it can be a very boring, like it's a few hours of process and uh, when we speed it up to a few minutes, it makes it look quite interesting and not too boring. So anyway, the wing feathers are quite critical for me and I always um, if, if you notice, I always use my pin to pull out the feathers from underneath when they get caught after the blow drying. So I always do that and uh, temporarily close the wing on each side. If you notice that there is a ton of a skin and ton of movements on the skin uh, around the neck and uh, you just got to make sure, it's it just going to take time and practice of course to realize these extra skin where do they belong and how you need to compact them into the right spot for the owl to get the right shape at the end so it's just just practice um, raptors they have um, a very stretchy throat skin and neck skin just because of you know big mice they swallow especially owls and um, most animals they have a stretchy neck skin but uh, owls are quite different because there is that 360 degree uh, movement on their neck they got that ability and they got a very big throat that uh, it, it stretches open when they're swallowing since they're babies in the nest so it takes a little practice to realize where those extra skin needs to be tucked into otherwise you're gonna you can put your arm into their neck and you still have some extra room so you just don't get fooled by that create the neck that is coming out of the bird's body just create the same circumference same size okay now we got the stump ready for it the owl is going to be sitting on that on a little snow scenery to go under a glass case at the end of the project snow sceneries in my opinion they have to go under glass case otherwise it's just a matter of time that they're gonna look terribly dirty and ugly if my clients are not going to put their mounts under glass case and they're asking for snow scenery I warn them and I try to encourage them to do something different instead of a snow scenery unless they have glass case over it Okay, we have the holes on the stump, push the wire, uh, feet wires in through the holes and bend them short, cut them short and do the power staple to secure them right on there so we can start working and posing the animal.
Okay, now the posing starts and I'm going to speed up the video here and let you enjoy the show.
Okay, here we're coming close to the end of this part two. Thank you everyone for watching. Please, if you have any question, leave it in the comment area. I'll answer every single question. And uh, we will see you next week with some other project. Please hit the like button if you like the video and share it with your friends and support the channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.